Joining us on the show, TSN hockey analyst Marty Biron, and we're going to get to the Winnipeg Jets and that loss to the Kraken in just a second. But first, let's talk about that victory by the Edmonton Oilers in overtime. Marty, uh, late third period comeback, an incredible late play by Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and then Connor McDavid extending his point streak to 12 games. Can you, can you break down his brilliance in overtime? Well, the thing with Connor McDavid now is he's such a good playmaker, right? 28 assists over those last 12 games. He's chasing 100 assists in a season. It's only been done by Wayne Gretzky, Mario Lemieux, and Bobby Orr. And the last time Gretzky did it in 91. So it's more rare to have 100 assists than 70 goals in the National Hockey League. But McDavid on that rate, at that pace, will get it before the end of the season. You look here, like McDavid usually goes to the right when he's facing an opponent. Oh, I'm going to... Fake right twice and go left, and then it opens up the ice, right? And he's able to find Leon Dreisler. Look, right, no, I'm going to go left. And air again around Charlie McAvoy, one of the best defender, one of the best active stick in the National Hockey League, cannot get the stick on that puck. And I love what Dreisaitl did because nobody can read McDavid when you're playing against him, but Iman and Dreisaitl and the Oilers, they can read McDavid because they have seen him in action so often. Dreisaitl stays way outside of the picture and comes in just at the last second when he knows that puck is going to come to him. So I love the, you know, the speed, the acceleration, the, the creativity, the change of direction, everything that he's able to do, especially at three on three when there's more ice to be able to skate in. And, you know, Marty, we show that offensive brilliance, but really this is a very tight checking game. It had a playoff feel to it. And Stuart Skinner had to be really good against a very good Boston team. Now Skinner has 29 wins to equal his total from last season when he was a Calder finalist. And I know Kenny Holland has said he's not adding anybody. We're going with Skinner. We're going with Calvin Pickard. Uh, do you feel Skinner's ready to carry this team for a long cup run? Yeah, I feel like his maturity this year has shown. Why? Because when he struggled early in the season, he was able to bounce back, right? Find his game, find his rhythm and be one of the best Oilers, especially over that long winning streak that they had. And then after the winning streak, he went 2-4-1 with an 865 save percentage. So there was going to be a little bit of a correction, right, that's going to happen. But now 4-0 with a save percentage over 950 in the last four games. And in this game against Boston, there was a save on Marchand early in the game, Pasternak, Jake DeBrosse. There was a lot of big saves that he needed to make in a playoff-type hockey game when it was 0-0 for the longest time or even at one nothing, So I really like Stuart Skinner's game right now. It's not complicated. A lot of battle, a lot of good positioning. But more importantly, he has shown maturity. Last year, not so great in the playoffs after a good regular season. Doesn't, doesn't start the season well, but he's able to recover. And then if he's going to face some adversity in the playoffs this year, he'll be able to recover again because now he knows what to do, what type of drills, what type of mental preparation, what type of video. He has to do so. I think he's recovered nicely twice this season, and he was really good against the Boston Bruins. Let's get to the Jets, Marty. Tough loss to Seattle. We're going to focus on the positives, and that's yeah. the fact that Mark Shifley hits the 700-point mark in 778 games. He's the second Jet of the new franchise era to hit that mark after Blake Wheeler. Pretty big achievement for the Jets' number one center. Absolutely, a big achievement. And you look at Shifley, for me, it's the versatility in his game, right? Is he a goal scorer? Is he a playmaker? Last year at 42 goals. This year, not so much in the goals, but more of a playmaker. And I think that keeps everybody on their toes when they play Mark Shifley. The perfect example is the Kyle Connor goal in this game against the Seattle Kraken. There's really two guys from Seattle around my, Mark Shifley. He has nowhere to go. And then he makes this incredible pass across the ice to Cal Connor for the catch and release and the one one goal and and so with Shifley now you're getting not just the size down the middle at 6'3 and over 200 pounds he's 30 years old he will give you six or seven more really really solid seasons the way that he's been so cons consistent with the Jets over the last few years so 700 is a great achievement but I'm looking at eight nine a thousand like that is what I'm seeing from Mark Shifley in his career I really think within the next five years, he'll get to the uh, thousand mark. Yeah, he's got a few years to do it and just signed that extension with the team earlier this season, so you know where yeah. he's going to be.